I was given the inaugural residency at the Fisher Space, and so we had this extraordinary residency period to really explore the space itself, first of all in, in some of their studios and then in the, in the Fisher. And so we really got to um, explore production. And that was timely for me because it was sort of a moment where I really wanted to enter. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to have production elements really push and collide with my material so that in a funny way, the material doesn't mean the same thing on its own as it does when it's inside of its production world. To explore fantasy, the first thing my costume designer did was bring in, a, and, and actually my scenic person as well contributed, to bring in a bunch of props into rehearsal that are just sort of like the props you associate it with sex, basically, like whips and, you know, high heels and cigars and, I mean, all kinds of stuff that was basically about sexuality. And, uh, and we toyed with these things a lot. And some of them were slightly more poetic, elliptical ideas like butterflies and fans and things like that and very few of them really hit you know it took I mean we, we we went through many many things that we sloughed off and then over time a couple of of prop ideas really became sort of powerful metaphors inside the work and um, and I developed statements around these prop ideas and the statements tended to belong to an individual so I consider them to be sort of self statements in a way they're kind of like um, the subterranean self being presented, or the idealized self, or maybe even the diva self being presented. People become kind of, once they're not primary, you know, pre self-presenting, they become kind of um, tool-like or prop-like in other people's scenario. So there's this way in which um, I feel like the piece is really speaking about the isolation of being yourself and being highly individual, and, and how that possibly even doesn't allow you to enter relationship in the sense of considering others and worrying about others and being connected to others. It actually makes you unto yourself in a funny way.